Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to learn how we can insert text and also image in our Flutter application. So for the text we will be using our rich text widget and for image we will load it directly from our uh, assets which will be stored inside our application itself. So this is what we had created in our last video. Uh, there was a main.dart file which called home page and the home page had a app bar and also a button and the button uh, there was no functionality assigned to the button but we're gonna do it right now so in the last video we had it till here on press had no had uh, no functionality but we're gonna add a functionality right now so for uh, our button we're gonna add a navigator which will navigate to a new page so uh, the code for that is new material page root and the builder will call a new page and first we have to create a page for that so first of all we'll go in our lib and and we will create a folder pages so to create a folder we will right click on lib and there is a new folder so you can create it by doing that and inside the page we will create a new file and we have given the file name text image dot dart so this is our text image dot dart what we have done here is we have imported our material dot dart and then we have created a class text image so this will uh, hold our text and image and these namings can be done as we want so for uh, first of all we have created a scaffold inside which we will be creating an app bar for app bar so the app bar i have use the same app bar over here i have just copied and pasted it over here which has uh, a background color of white and uh, which will make our entire uh, uh, page white and then we have an app bar which has a background color of pink accent and a text which has a white color and the name of the uh, app bar is my app and after that inside the body is where we are gonna do the main thing so as we I have explained in the last video, we'll first uh, create a container which has a center which will align everything into the center and also has a column and inside the column there will be different widgets aligned one after another in a column form. That's why we have to use a column. If you wanted to insert anything in rows, then you would use a new row inside the column and inside the new row you would create different widgets and they would be aligned in a row but here we are not creating anything in a row so we only have column so inside the column we have children of widgets inside which we have created a container and the container has a padding so that nothing sticks to the uh, end and then we have again we have centered everything and we have a child of rich text so this is the widget that we'll be using to um, insert our text the uh, rich text has a property text of text span and we will give it a text span which will hold our text inside the text span we have the text and the text i have written is we are inserting text and who, uh, for which we have given a style and the style is this one so we have given it a height a font size and color you can give all of this as as you like after that we have uh, we have created a children of text spans so this was uh, kind of like our heading and after that we want to write different lines below it so for that we have created children of text span so the first text span has number i have given it a number one and slash n means giving it a new line then we have uh, given it text style as we have given it in other texts as well so it works exactly the same and i have given another text span which uh, where i have written this is my first line so this is uh, our entire text thing this is how we can insert text inside our flutter application after all of this text and after closing the container of the text i have given inside the widget one inside the column i have given the next widget a image so 
the ms i want to load the ms from assets right now we have no folder created as assets so first of all we will create a folder inside our sample that's and inside assets we will be uh, keeping our ms one dot jpg but before we actually use our assets we have to um declare it inside our popsec.yaml file in this section we are gonna add our assets so for that we will just remove this and type in this and then click save and it will get all the packages that are required now over here if you want to use only one image you can only specify that image but right now we uh, Writing this command will help you access all the files and folders that you keep inside the assets file. That's why we have given it uh, like this. Then after that, just remove this. So first of all, let us bring our image inside the assets. For that, I will be opening my folder where is and I'll bring this image inside and I'll drag it and drop it inside assets. So, so this is image.1.png file. So we will go to our homepage.tar. Oh sorry, we will go to our text image.tar. And here it's not jpg, it is png. So we will save that. Remove this, remove this. And in homepage.tar, here we have to call our new page. And our new page is called this text image. So we will copy it from here and then paste it over here. So now we will have to import the page as well over here. For that we will go here, we'll write import dot slash pages inside pages we have text image dot tar and then save everything. We still have some error over here. So yeah, now this is solved. So everything is set. Now let's run our application and see if it works. So I have my emulator up and this is my command prompt. So I will first navigate to that place. So I have my file on desktop. So cd desktop and then cd sample. Then flutter run. Now it will take some time over here. And our Flutter app is now running and let's see if we have any error or it's okay. Yeah, so this is our app and when we click on one, we will be directed to that page. We should be. And it does not work. So yeah, the problem was we didn't add this line this line is what will help us navigate to that page and we forgot to add it so this is how it should be so navigator dot off context push it will push the page inside our root and this will help us open that page so that's how it should be so we will reload and now let's click it and this is our page so we have inserted our text we are inserting text this is my first line and this is our image so you can see this is how it mm, this works so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and really learned something out of it you can also see we have a back button too so we can click it and go back to so that is a property of scaffold and so it is a very useful thing so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and please like the video and subscribe to our channel it will really motivate us to make more videos and keep giving awesome content on youtube and thank you for watching guys and have a nice day bye